So you'll be expected to predict the products of a precipitation reaction. And if you follow these five rules, you won't go wrong. The first thing you want to do is write the formulas for the reactants and dissociate the ions for each aqueous reactant. Then exchange the ions between the two reactants. The positive from the first reactant goes with the negative from the second. Balance the charges of the combined ions to get the correct formula of each product. Balance the equation, and then use the table to determine the solubility of each product in water. If it's insoluble or slightly soluble, it would have a subscript of S, and if it's soluble, it's going to have a subscript of AQ. If both products have an AQ, then no reaction has occurred. So let's look at this example. When an aqueous solution of sodium carbonate is added to an aqueous solution of, co of copper 2 chloride, a white solid forms. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is write out the compounds. Sodium carbonate, sodium is plus 1, carbonate is 2 minus, so Na2CO3. That means I have two sodiums and one carbonate. And they're both AQ. Copper 2 chloride. I have one copper and two chlorides. Now when I switch the ions, I find it easier to write the two chemicals in a box like this. And that way I can just crisscross them to find out what my no. products are going to be. No. My products are going to be the new compounds that are formed from the exchange of ions. Sodium used to be with carbonate, but now it's going to be with chloride. Copper used to be with chloride, but now it's going to be with carbonate. So here are my new products. I have NaCl, and I know that that's the formula because sodium has positive and chloride has negative, one in both cases. And I get two of them, because there's yeah. a two there. And then no. copper no. carbonate. And I know that that's my no. formula because copper is no. positive two no. and carbonate is negative two. Then I go back to my table to see what the solubility of these are going to be. Here's sodium, so my sodium chloride is AQ. Let's see. Here's carbonate, and it's not with any of these, so my carbonate is going to be solid. So this is the white solid that they see in the description of the problem. So here are the steps. We dissociate out our ions, and I always put this two in front here. So that helps me keep track of what I have. I put the two there. Then we exchange our ions. Sodium now goes with chloride. Copper now goes with carbonate. We figure out our formulas based on the charges. These are the formulas. We balance the equation, make sure it's balanced. Two sodiums, two sodiums, two chlorides, two chlorides, one copper, one carbonate. Then we look at the solubility rules to determine the state. So the white solid that forms is our copper 2 carbonate. Pause the slide and follow the rules on this, these two problems. Dissociate the ions switch them to get the products and figure out whether figure out based on the solubility rules whether they're AQ or solid. Yeah, Mom. Okay, so let's look at our first example. I separated out my two reactants into the ions that make them up and then we switch them. All we have are positive 1 and negative ones. So we don't have to worry about um, balancing the charges out for a formula. So we'll form KNO3, potassium nitrate, and AgCl, silver chloride. 
and then we look back at our table to figure out the solubility. So for our first one, potassium nitrate, potassium means it's soluble. And for our second one, silver chloride, really? here's chloride, but it's with silver, which is an exception. So that means my potassium nitrate is AQ, and my silver chloride is solid. Now let's look at the next example. I separate out my ions, two sodiums and a sulfide, a calcium and two chlorides, and then I switch. So I'm going to form two sodium chlorides and then a calcium sulfide. So I look back at my table. Anything with sodium is going to be soluble. So my sodium chloride is AQ. And then I look for my anion, which is sulfide, and it's not soluble except for these cations. And calcium is one of the exceptions. So this is going to be AQ. So since everything is AQ, I haven't formed a solid, and this is NR, or no reaction.